YouTube. Welcome back to Not Simple for Mum, and today we have 33 to 45 because I have this hulking great big parcel come to me, and this is through an acquaintance of mine that I made through one of the pop vinyl groups, and we sort of contact for uh, quite some time now, and he was getting rid of some of his old vinyl records. So I said, "What have you got?" And he said, "X, Y, Z, loads of quite a lot of stuff actually." Um, what do you want to do? And I said, right, I'll have this, that, and then the other. And he said, 50 quid. I said, fine, or thereabouts. And uh, yeah, he sent them through to me. So we're going to open these up and I'll show you because we've got quite a few to go through. Uh, I've got the orange scissors ready. Gonna, uh, orange scissors. And uh, yeah, we're going to open this up. So uh, we'll have a quick short break and I'll catch you when they're open. Taken off, <laughs> it came in this parklet. <laughs> so, build your own Triceratops T Rex, and yes, some other stuff. All very dinosaurs, but it's not that, as I said, it's records. So, we're going to crack this one open as well and show you what's inside of that. That's that open. Let's crack on with these, shall we? First one we got is Queen 2. And uh, I can't see any track listings on this, so I'm not sure what's on there. Covers are not too bad, it's a little bit creased and whatnot, but um, I'm not too worried about that. Oh, that's a different way of opening that up as well, isn't it? There we go. So it opens that way instead of the usual way that you'd sort of expect. Uh, yeah, okay, different. Ah, so here we go, we've got the track listing. Uh, this first, Father and Son, White Queen, as it began, Sunday, One Day, The Loser at the End, Ogre Battle, by the looks of it, Fairy Fellows Master Stroke, Nevermore, The March of the Black Queen, Funny How Love Is and Seven Sins of Rye. Now, I don't know any of those at all. My first experience of Queen, like most people, was Bohemian Rhapsody. And that wasn't action until, I think, their fourth album, which was um, A Night at the Opera. So, let's dig them out if we can. It's a little bit of a tight fit. There we go. It is the proper... Insert, which is awesome. A quick scanners at the record itself. Looks all right to me. Yeah. I won't know until we play it, obviously, but um, yeah. I'm quite pleased with that one. Let's think of making the old sleeve for the moment. Yeah, I didn't realise they had them like that. That's, uh, that's quite cool. I mean, okay, if you think about it, the way that they've they've done it, it makes sense that it opens up the way it does. And I should have realised that at the time. But um, yeah, not bad at all. Stick that back in there. So well, without squishing it. That's number one. Excellent start. And there's another Queen one. It's kind of magic. I do like this one because it had a lot of uh, songs from the Highlander soundtrack, and I love that film. There you go. All as done from the the video for It's a Kind of Magic itself. Got the old sleeve notes. Pretty cool. 
Uh, what have we got on? We've got One Vision. Yeah, good song. A kind of magic, obviously. One Year of Love. Pain is so close to pleasure. Friends will be friends. That's a good song as well. Who Wants to Live Forever? Excellent tune. Give Me the Prize. Kurgan's theme. Don't think I know that one. I uh, probably know it if I had it, because obviously because of the film. Uh, Don't Lose Your Head. And Princes of the Universe. So yeah, very, very cool. It's, uh, you know, the fact that it's sort of like, almost like a movie soundtrack as well is, is pretty sweet. They've done a couple of those, actually. I wouldn't mind getting the um, Flash Gordon one as well. Yeah, looks all good to me. Excellent stuff. I don't know, right? Oh, go of these, aren't we? They're very nice. As I say, I didn't know what I'd ordered, but, um, yeah. As I say, it's a little bit tight in places on some of these, but, um, you know, you kind of expect that when you get old vinyls. And, um, by and large, it's fine. And again, as I often say with these things, there's nothing that a little bit of TLC can't really sort out. If I'm that worried. Okay. Next one is The Doors. The Soft Parade. Don't know if this is an original original. Um, just trying to see if it says actually. 1978, so it could be. It could be. I'll show you the insides. There they are. Nice little picture of the guys. If you don't know who the doors are, well, go and do some bloody research is all I'm going to say. What have we got? Songs. Let's see if I recognise any of these. Tell All The People. Touch Me. Shaman's Blues. Do It. Easy Ride. Wild Child. Uh, yes, I think I know that one. Running Blue. Wishful Sinful. And The Soft Parade. So there's only the eight tracks on there, but you know that was kind of what it was like back then. You you uh, didn't get like 16 old bloody tracks on one record. <laughs> there we go. There's the record. Again, looks fine. Very nice. So I shall look forward to giving that one a listen as well. Back in the box. Sleeve. It well, go on your bag and get in. I don't know if it's fit perfect, but that one is in very good condition. Again, a few little marks on the top, but as I say, to be expected. Then we got Rainbow Rise. I didn't really know much of Rainbow stuff, but they're sort of one of these classic bands, so um, I thought I had to get it. Uh, we got Tarot Woman, Run With The Wolf, Struck, Close To Your Eyes. Oh, Do You Close Your Eyes Even, get it right. Uh, Stargazer and The Light In Black. So one of those songs must be bloody long on side two then, for only to be two songs on side two. Yeah, okay. There are Rainbow themselves on the inside you see why i like the old finals because it's, it's just so much better when it comes to the sleeves and everything instead of having the diddy little picture you've got a bit more to it no uh in a sleeve so i suspect it probably didn't come with one in this case apart from the standard cardboard one and yeah again looking good looking good there we are Cool stuff. So I'm gonna have to spend a fair old bit of time listening to all of these. It's gonna take me a while. Probably, what I don't know, eight hours of music, maybe more. Most albums are like about 45 minutes long. Used to be anyway. Um, I tend to put a bit more on them these days with being CDs and 
what not I suppose because just because you can fit more on there uh, yeah next one we got is I think this is deep purple oh yes there we are deep purple there we are so it's up the top there look so that's pretty cool Is the inside sort of similar to the front cover but that's all right and we got oh they are they give you a list of the the singers and people where there was as well richie blackmore who i think went off to do wasp ian gillen which obviously did gillen um roger glover i'm not sure about him john law uh, john lard um oh, what did he do i know he did something i can't remember and in price so yeah I don't think it was the original lineup either because I'm sure there were some other uh, groups in there that uh, other artists in there that were uh, mentioned but they're not on this particular one but again that's all right um, I should tell you the songs as well shouldn't I because I haven't done that bit on that one yet I'll have a look in just a second bear with me see how many of these I recognise. I think the main deep purple one that I know of and most people know of was uh, Smoke on the Water. Now that won't fit back in properly but we'll worry about that later. Uh, we got Fireball, No No No, Demon's Eye, Anyone's Daughter, the Mule Falls and No One Came. That's what they told you, buddy. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. Right. There we go. So we're doing well here. Yeah? I'm sorry if this is a bit long for you. Um, I hope it's not boring you too much. But I, I love my vinyl. So anybody that feels as enthusiastic as I do will probably be loving this. And this one, this record I'm, I've wanted for ages. ABC, Lexum of Love. Fan freaking tastic. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. So, what have we got on there? Side one, show me Poison Arrow. Fabulous track. Brilliant song. Many happy returns. Tears are not enough. I think I know that one, but I'd have to listen to it again to be sure. Valentine's Day. Side 2, The Look of Love Itself. Brilliant, brilliant tune. Part 1, it says. Uh, date Stamp. All of My Heart. That's a good tune as well. Um, Forever Together. Don't know that one. And The Look of Love. Uh, part 4. Which is weird. I suppose they count them as the look of love anyway, but part four, not sure what that sounds like. I don't think it's the same as part one. Or I could have them around the wrong way. I don't remember which one they released as a single. Right. Need a little bit of TLC there as the cover's coming away a bit, but that's all right. I can fix that easy enough. Yeah. There we are. The lyrics written in a kind of strange way, all jumbled together. I think um, it's sort of a semi-concept album, so it, it tells a big story throughout the record. There's quite a lot of bands did that, and uh, yeah. There we go. Very nice. Very, very pleased to get that one. Absolutely fantastic. As I say, been after it for quite a while, so um, to get that included. That was good, and um, if I can get back into the sleeve. Uh, he actually included that one as uh, a freebie, so uh, <laughs> even better. You know, I'm um, very, very pleased with that. Now all I've got to do is get it back in there, if it will. There we are, we we'll get there eventually. Right, a um, couple more to go, I think. As I say, it does need a bit of repair. Yes, a fair bit of repair there. 
because it's come wide open but that's all right as i say i can fix that easy enough um i've got the record and the record looks in good nick so that's the main thing right this one is weird i don't know a lot about it but it's from a musical dave uh, clark's time and we've got Laurence Olivier, Cliff Richard, Freddie Mercury, Julian Lennon, Dion Warwick, Bert Bacharach, Ashford and Simpson, uh, Murray Head, Leo Sayer, uh, Jimmy Helms, John Christie and Stevie Wonder. So a very, very star-studded cast indeed. The in, I just I just like the idea of and I listened to a couple of the songs and I thought that's quite that's kind of cool. So there's the inside. As I say, you've got the back with this and everybody that's on there, and it's two vinyls, two vinyls, which is awesome. So what we have is a book, and usually when you get these records, you don't get all the you don't get the booklet. It's basically just um, lyrics and what have you. I can't really show you very well. I'm assuming when they say Dave Clark, he's the same guy that was in the Dave Clark 5. Uh, I won't show you everything, but you get an idea. Yeah, uh, little keys on the back. So in the... I suppose trials of man if you want you know i was supposed to get on everyone's supposed to get on together not that it happens but yeah so there we are oh both similar looking ones so a bit crumpled on some of them but again uh, i can probably sort that out easy enough i won't list all the tracks for you because it'll take bloody ages so there we are, pretty cool. I won't dig out the other one, you get an idea of what they're supposed to look like. But quite pleased with that, as I say, it's something I've never heard of before. I just thought, interesting cover, interesting concept, some great artists on there. Uh, you know, I've got the, the Queen stuff, so um, I thought, well, it's Freddie, I've got to get that, and I do like, I do like uh, Stevie Wonder. And that cliff's okay in small doses. <laughs> Sorry, mum. <laughs> so that's that one. Right. Oh, better put the book back in, and I might help. There we are. Very nice. And finally, I got this one from a mate of mine. He did ask me to get it for him if it was cheap enough. And I said, well, you know what, sort of, I'll get it for you anyway and you can have it. I'm not worried about that. It doesn't look in too bad nick, actually, all things considered. It's a little bit wear and tear, but I mean, it's quite an old album. Maybe a little bit yellow on the sleeve or it's probably aged. But, um, yeah. Ten tracks on here that that uh, we probably know. I think I think he released all the tracks as singles, all of them. Yeah. Uh, let's have a quick read. Side one we got bad. Yep. The way you make me feel. Yep. Speed demons. I don't know if that was a song, but it was certainly in the. Um, what the hell was the name of the movie? Moonwalker film. Librarian Girl, yeah, Just Good Friends, don't know that one. Uh, another part of me, Man in the Mirror, I Just Can't Stop Loving You, Dirty Diana, and of course Smooth Criminal. So yeah, I should have kept this one myself, but no, I said I'll send it to him, so it's exactly what I'm going to do. There we are, there's the inside. To get the old sleeve. Again, got all the lyrics and whatnot, and all the rest of it, and who did what, and all the, and uh, you know, produce what. 
Quincy Jones, of course, who's an absolute legend in the music industry, both as a, an artist and uh, a producer. So there we go. And that is your lot. So I want to say a big, big thank you to Douglas. Um, absolute legend, sir. Thank you very, very much for these. Um, I'm very pleased. I shall get on to PayPal right now and sort you out your money. So I say I paid half and I can't even get into this now. I paid half and uh, yeah, I said when I got him, I'd, I'd said in the other and he was like, yeah, fine, no worries. So I must do that for him. Get them away. Um, yeah, brilliant. Saw that lot for 50 quid. I reckon that's pretty good. Yeah, uh, what have we got there? How many, how many have we got? Let's have a look. We got one, two, three, four, five. Let's stop sticking together in a minute. Yeah, five, six. Seven, eight. I'm pretty sure that was everything I asked for, so I'm very, very happy with those. I think mean, you could uh, do a lot worse than that, it's just over five quid each. I mean, you think one of those is a double LP anyway. Can't go wrong, really, can you? Anyway, let me know what you think, guys. Um, you know, you know, I like my vinyl. Is there anything there that you would have had that you think was pretty cool? Um, anything else you think I should be getting that I haven't got classic albums that you think Jace you really need to listen to that record because it's freaking awesome and whether it's on vinyl or DVD I don't mind yeah I'm quite happy to listen to them um, oh yeah I think that's it really so thumbs up thumbs down comments down below as I said ring the old bell ding a ling a ling -a. And, of course, subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I will leave it there because this video is running quite long. And until the next one, I shall catch you next time. Bye-bye.